Langford, BC The women's Eagle Sevens have begun their Canada Sevens run with a strong 14-35 statement victory over third-ranked Russia. A dominant performance that exposed Russian mistakes from the very beginning, the women's Sevens crossed the try line five times en route to scoring the most points they ever have against the Bears. Now facing fourth-ranked France in match two at 4.46 p.m. Eastern Time, the United States has the confidence they need to make another brilliant showing. Live on the Rugby Channel, it took less than one minute for Eagle Naya Tapper to convert an offload on the wing to another one of her trademark, fast-paced breakaway tries, 0-7. The score, a clear indication of the dominant performance fans at West Hill Stadium were about to see, set forth a highly energetic pattern of United States points earned by exposing Russian mistakes. On the next attack, a bobbled Russian possession allowed Captain Nicole Heverland to pick up a turnover and run it all the way to 0-14. A pick-and-go by Jordan Gray with an offload to Cheta EMBA gave the USA an even greater advantage at 0-21. Then, with seconds to go, the women's sevens won a line-up, allowing Ryan Carlisle to expose Russia's final mistake of the half for a 0-28 result before the break. In the huddle, head coach Richie Walker, proud of the consistency but focused on keeping a level head, coached his side to focus on the basic principles of their attack. Lowering penalties, employing a sense of urgency at the breakdown and continuing to close defensive gaps was a critical factor in closing out the win, and, as the second half resumed, the United States made effective use of Walker's guidance. A turnover stolen by Alev Kelter allowed the standout athlete to mark her 50th international try, 0-35, putting the women's sevens in a more than comfortable position to close out the game with a strong stance, though they were far ahead. The challenges Walker spoke of during halftime reached the forefront before match official Adam Jones could call full-time. The Russian women took advantage of two wide-open gaps to allow Captain Daria Noritsina and newcomer Alexander Kazantseva to end the shutout, 14-35, but, despite openings on the pitch, the gap on the scoreboard was too much for Russia to close, allowing USA to earn an outstanding win to open the tournament. Ranked France 1-0 will be next up to determine which squad moves closer to a cup quarterfinal berth. The match begins at 4.46 p.m. Eastern Time, live on the Rugby Channel. Women's Sevens staff, 2018 HSBC Canada Sevens head coach, Richie Walker athletic trainer, Kevin Nig head of physical preparation, Jen Houdin analyst, Dave Gardner team manager, Liz Drowicker Women's Sevens schedule, 2018 HSBC Canada Sevens vs. Russia, 14-35 W vs. France, Saturday, May 12, 446 p.m. ETVs. Japan, Saturday, May 12, 716 p.m. Eastern Time.